G'day and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Life on the Lick Run. Now today I wanted to talk a bit about heart leaf poison. Um, now this is a shrub here. Um, this shrub here behind me. Uh, I got some here in my hand. Now this stuff is uh, highly toxic to most introduced animals in Australia, uh, but less so to native animals in Australia. Um, and its um, its poison name is sodium fluoroacetate, and it's the same poison what's in the 1080 um, 1080 baits that that uh, a lot of a lot of um, landowners use to control wild dogs and and feral pigs. Um, and but this this plant just grows naturally, and it has this. Um, like the same same fluoroacetate chemical as what's in the 1080 baits, and in on Dolthara Station here, we're in a an area where there's a really a big lot of it in all this area around here, um, and a lot of people say, oh, why don't you just fence it off? But that's not an option for us because um, there's probably about three quarters of of the place um with with the heart leaf poison on it so we just have to run our cattle in amongst in amongst the heart leaf um and we get deaths but um each generation of cattle when cattle are bred in in heart leaf country each generation of of the cattle gets better and better because they get used to it in in a case of just learning to stay away from it so um, that's how we sort of, we just got to sort of put up with it here. Cattle will eat it, but a lot of times they won't die from it if they don't get, get stressed or get worked up. It's a big problem to use a helicopter in this country when you're running the cattle in with the helicopter and if they've got this in their system, they'll just, they'll just drop over like flies. Um, even when, when we're on the ground and we're mustering sometimes like you'll be you'll be you know walking the cattle along and then suddenly you'll say oh that that cow there's has got heart leaf because they'll just start to show the signs so you just you cut them out and leave them behind and most times they'll get over it if you don't put too much pressure on them but if you do if you keep pushing them along um i've seen it numerous times where they'll just drop over in front of you and just die this sodium fluoroacetate um i've read is in 30, 30 odd different plants in Australia and native plants in Australia and Georgina Gidgee is one of them. Um, I've never had anything to do with Georgina Gidgee but I've heard a lot about it. Um, but it's, um, I'm not so sure about heart leaf but in the Georgina Gidgee um, the poison is not always present and the cattle can eat the, eat the trees like browse the leaves and it's actually good for them. But then at certain times of the year, uh, the, the poison will be present and then, and then you'll get the losses in, in your herd. I'd, I'd love to see a, um, like a vaccine or something produced that you could just vaccinate your, your cattle um, and then that would um, like have a resistance to the poison. Um, but that hasn't been produced. Um, it, it may it may in the future, but um, but one thing that has been um, delved into a lot is using supplements to, um, to to I think it's more to absorb the poison um, in in the lick. Like if you feed certain things in the lick, it will absorb the poison, so therefore the cattle won't die. Um, and that's something that I've wanted to go into. And, and, and do a bit of research into uh, and do some trials here um, with my lick feeding program. Uh, bentonite is, is one of the products that, that's, that's used successfully. Um, so I want to do some, do some research on that. So as, as I do that, I'll, I'll, I'll document all that and, and do more videos on it as, as time goes on. Um, but for now, all I wanted to do is just give a brief description about what heart leaf is and, and how we go about uh, managing, our, managing our cattle in it. 
it it breaks your heart to to run cattle in in heartleaf country when when you you see your cattle dying um there's certain times of the of the growth process in in heartleaf it will be more toxic um and one of the worst times is after fire and when the um the fire will will burn the whole plant and then it will just come back just as a little green shoot and it's just like an iridescent uh, green that just looks beautiful to eat you'd, you'd look at it and you say you could eat it yourself it looks that good um, but the likewise for the cattle that's when they want to eat it and that's when it's really potent it is the most poisonous stage so um, that's that's is a, a, a really bad problem when we have uh, like a bushfire go through um, and and things like that and it'll um, the, the the heart leaf always comes back the first before the grass and I've seen after a after a bushfire goes through and and we get bad heart leaf come up after it I've seen the cattle are just just dead in a line like for you know three or four of them just all just fell over one after the other it breaks your heart to see that um, when when you're running your stock in amongst this um, it the the flower looks that good that it you know if it didn't do what it did you'd be proud to have that on on your property but um but you just yeah you can't you can't make yourself like it because it's um you, you know what it does to your stock so um no worries i just wanted to talk a little bit about the heart leaf today and um i'll i'll keep you up to date on on the trials i'm, I'm gonna start doing before long with with the lick um and i will see you in the next video thank you